Hello, this is a short video on distance and displacement. I am Jaya here, welcomes you to Easy Way to Physics with Jaya. If you watched my channel first time, please subscribe the channel and tap the bell button to get the notifications. Are you getting confused with these two terms, distance and displacement? Don't worry, we can learn. Look at this picture when man is standing in front of the pond. Actually, he has to reach his house. How he will go? He turns to the right side, walks along the side of the pond, crosses the points A, B, C and reaches the point D which is near to the front door. From A to B, he walks 4 meter distance. From B to C, 3 meter and C to D, 2 meter distance. Thus, this man walks a total distance of 4 plus 3 plus 2, that is 9 meters to reach his door from the point where he stands. Thus, the distance traveled is the total length of the path he traveled. Remember, this is a definition for distance. The total length of the path is the distance traveled. Now, what is displacement? The man was first standing at A and at last he reached at D. So, the displacement is AD. The length of the black line AD represents the displacement. Here it is only 3.5 meters. So, the displacement is only 3.5 meters whereas the distance traveled is 9 meters. Thus, we can define the displacement as the shortest distance. The shortest distance measured from the initial to the final position of an object is known as displacement. The shortest distance between the initial position and final position of an object is known as displacement. See the numerical problem. A man on his wheelchair moves from P to Q and Q to R along the footpath at the sides of a park to reach the opposite corner. Suggest the shortest path and calculate the displacement. The shortest path itself is the displacement, right? Here, PR is the shortest path. If we consider PQR as a right angle triangle, PR is the hypotenuse. So, how can we calculate the displacement? Displacement is the hypotenuse of the triangle that is equal to square root of the sides of the triangle. That is square root of 4 square plus 3 square that we get the answer as 5 meter. Now consider the case of an object moving in a circular path. Here see a man is running in a stadium in a circular track. The man starts from the point A, runs along a circular track and reaches back at A. His displacement is 0 because he is reaching back at the same position. His displacement is 0. So for an object which is moving in a circular path, if it reaches at the same point, its displacement is 0. Whereas the total distance is the circumference of the circle itself. Along the circumference of the circle he is running. So the total distance traveled is the circumference of the circle itself. So remember the magnitude of a displacement for a course of motion may be zero but the corresponding distance cannot be zero. Thus, in short, the shortest distance measured from the initial to the final position of an object is known as displacement. The total length of the path is known as distance traveled. Magnitude of displacement may or may not be equal to the path length or distance. Magnitude of displacement for a course of motion may be zero, but it may not be zero for distance. Hope you understood the topic well. 
enter your doubts and suggestions in the comment box if you did not subscribe please subscribe the channel thank you